Ma sei stata fino adesso al battesimo? Eh sì. Ancora. No, io non mi vergogno. Io non voglio finire sui giornali. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel once again. Today I'm super super excited because I have a big announcement. I just launched the Wolf Bright Candle brand. The link will be down below in the description. The brand is based on the LGBTQ community. Stand for what you believe in and shop with us. And on the other hand, let's get right into this video and talk about the topic of today. So today we're gonna be talking about me, myself and her. The movie was released in 2018. It's actually an Italian movie, but yes, there is subtitles available, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna be talking about the relationship between Marina and Federica, what happened between them and my own personal opinion regarding the ending of the movie. To be honest, um, the, the ending of the movie is a, a bit sketchy. I don't know if I agree with it, but I will give my personal opinion regarding it. And yes, guys, and also I wanted to say thank you. Thank you so much for everybody who likes, who comments, who shares and who subscribes to my channel. I really, really do appreciate all the love and all the support you guys been showing me. And the link of my store is down below in the description. Please let me know what you think about the products. And, you know, I will be seeing you guys on there as well. So let's get right into this video and let's not waste any more time. And also let me know down below in the comments what you think about Federica and Marina storyline on the movie. What is your personal opinion regarding it? do you think the outcome was good or bad just let me know your opinion and let's not waste any more time guys and let's get right into this video Scommetto che non gli hai dato neanche da mangiare oggi a pranzo. Mm, guardaci. No, io capisco. E capisco pure bene. Tu ti vergogni. Eh? Non me ne frega un cazzo dell'abbazia, del 1300, del casale, del ristorante. Darle un suggerimento, signora. Si metta nella posizione esatta in cui dorme di solito. Non è un obbligo. Intanto su tutto. E poi in fondo si tratta solo... So Federica and Marina have been together for five years. They had a wonderful relationship and a wonderful life together. Federica, you know, has an ex-husband and has a grown son. Uh, she actually was, you know, she wasn't expected to fall in love with Marina. She was very surprised and she, and it was very uncomfortable for her being out. Like she wasn't comfortable to making her relationship with, with Marina public. Admitting that she is bisexual or being with a woman, it makes her nervous. It makes her not be comfortable with the situation, even though she loves Marina and she wants to be with Marina, but it's still something that she had to work on and that she wasn't ready to take that next step. When Marina announced in a magazine that she was in a current relationship with an artist with an architect and her name is federica it says federica off because she doesn't want to be public and feels embarrassed by the fact that you know uh, marina made their relationship public without asking you know if she was ready to do that and especially for it being in a magazine it makes it so public and you know and it makes it made her very very uncomfortable and mad and upset about it but it but at the other hand, Marina was very accepting about it. She understood her like she always does. Um, as time went by, Federica starts having an affair with Marco, a man she was attracted to years ago. So they reconnected and they start having a love affair. Marina discovers the affair and she confronted Federica and Marco when they were having lunch together. Federica was in shock when she saw Marina and Marco as well. Like, you know, she wasn't expecting, you know, she, she knew that her and Federica uh, relationship were having problems and they were distant and you know Federica was more cold with her but she didn't thought it, it was this level of her actually having an affair with a man that that really broke her heart but she actually handled the situation very very maturely so shout out to Marina for that Federica is confronted because she has feelings for Marco and she feels suffocated by Marina and she needs to be and she needs to and, and she needs to breathe uh, Marina gave Federica a choice after she found out about the affair. She told her, or you end your affair with Marco, 
or you know we leave you leave the house and we end our relationship Federica felt pressured so so she actually her choice her decision was to end her relationship with Marco and stay with Marina they tried to fix their relationship but Federica felt pressure and suffocated by Marina and she told her that she still thinks about Marco and that she needs time alone. Marina was heartbroken but ended up respecting Federica's decision. She didn't put her no pressure. She's like, okay, you want time, you space. I don't agree with this because I love you. I feel like we, we should work this out. Even though you are the one who cheated, I'm still in a position to try to fix our relationship and understand where you're coming from. But if you feel suffocated by me and you feel like I'm putting too much pressure on you, then I will respect your decision for you to take time for yourself so you can figure out what you really want. When they took a break, Federica started to see Marco again and spending a lot of time with him while Marina was suffering and crying over her for months and months trying to figure out how to fix it, you know, giving her space and respecting her space. But on the other hand, Federica was out here already building a whole new relationship with a man living together already. And the man also asked her to move in with her, with him, you know, since, he's, since she's always at the house. So... On the other hand, Marina's over here suffering, trying to get over you, and you're already here building a new relationship, uh, a new connection with someone else. That, that for me was like, wow, you know. Marina went to look for Fe for Federica and found out that she, she that she's been with Marco and practically living with him. Uh, she, Marina, decided to to you know to. To, to, to take all of Federica's things out of the house and just uh, completely eliminating her from her environment. And when Federica found out about that, that really shocked her because she didn't know that Marina would, would be able to come to that level to actually taking out her things from the house. After six months, Marina was doing better. But on the other hand, Federica started to miss her old life with Marina and she decided to go look for her and ask for forgiveness and told Marina she wants another chance with her and she wants her old life back. Marina told Federica she can just come back and expect everything to go back to how they used to be. Marina told Federica to wait six months more so they can make sure that that's actually what they really want. Federica, uh, she understood Marina's decision because she can just come back and expect and apologize and expect everything to go back to normal. So, so Marina told her, okay, we will be six months apart. And after this six months, we will decide, you know, if we want, if we still want to continue our relationship. But that decision didn't end because as soon as Federica left, Marina went after her and said six months is too long and they ended up rekindling their relationship. But for me personally, I felt like they needed that six months. I feel like that six months would have done very, 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 very good to them because they will also bring more security to Marina regarding Federica. And also Federica would have known definitely that she wanted to be with Marina because at the at the end, I feel like Federica didn't actually learn her lesson because Marina just took her right back as soon as she apologized. So it's also a little bit unfair, you know. But yes, guys, that's basically it. Please let me know down below in the comments what you think about Marina and Federica's storyline on the movie. And please don't, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys again at the next video. And goodbye.